Hi, uh, this video is about uh, lab view array functions. So this is the front panel here. Uh, this is the block diagram. Uh, if you right click on it and then you pin the programs so you can see it all the time. Now if you click on the array, it will show you all the function available for the array. Uh, in the first video, I covered the top five. Uh, in this video, I'm going to cover this initialize array, build array, array subset, max and minimum and reshape array okay so those five functions they are covered in this video so let me go to, uh, let me close this one now um, if you go here these are the five functions i just mentioned okay so i can go here so what i will do i will go over a uh, demo of each function and then i will switch to the block diagram to to see how this function work okay so let's start I'm going to run in the continuous mode here so I'm running in the continuous mode so initialize the array what it does um, it create the array and it will fill with the element you want okay so let's say I want to create uh, four row here and uh, I want to create three columns okay so now it created the array and then I want to fill up all the elements with let's say number five so all array it has like um, all element has a number five okay so it's pretty simple uh, if you go back here so this is the input to the function this is the output of a function and if you click on the block diagram here so it is taking uh, element as a one input that we uh, just show here number five so that's the element as the input and it gives the dimension of the row dimension of the column okay those three are the input and it create the two dimensional array okay so that's the first function now let's go to the second one build array so this this will create the array in the append mode so let's say if um, uh, i put all the zero here right now and then uh, let's say i want to uh, create like uh, one two here three and four okay so those are going here now in this element let's say I want to only create this element so if you don't give any other element it takes the 0 as a default and in array 0 um, let's say I want to give 7 here ok so it takes 7 now other remaining 3 elements they are not there so it will fill up with the default as 0 ok so that's the build array now if we go to the block diagram of this uh, function so build array so it is taking three as input uh, three arrays as input and giving the appended array okay so that's the second function build array now this one the third one is a array subset so let's say it as a five element I want to take um, one and two only okay I want to create the array with the subset of this uh, array I want only let's say I want three elements now one two and three so index will be zero here so that's a zero index and I need three length okay so there you go now I have one two and three if I want let's say four and five only so that will be zero index one two so my index should be three and my length should be two so that give me four and five okay so let's test that one out index will be uh, three so I put one two and three and length will be two so it give me four and five okay so this will uh, give you the subset of array if I want number three and four I will reduce uh, index to two okay so then I get three and four okay so that's the array subset if I go to block diagram of it so it is taking input as array it take index and then it takes the length so those are the three input and output is giving the subset of the array okay so there's a third function max and minimum is pretty simple um, this is the array it gives you the maximum value of the array so that is 40 it gives index okay so uh, there are 0 to 9 because index is based on 0 so this is the last row that is uh, number 9 it's not 10 because uh, index is uh, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. That's what is showing 9 here. And the column 0, 1, 2 and 3. Okay, So that's why it is giving 3 here. The minimum value is 1 and index is 0, 0. So let's say now I want to make this one as a uh, 1000. Okay, so now this max value will change to the 1000 and index 0, 0. Okay, and now minimum value is here. And let's say if I make 0 here. So now it minimum value is 0 now. It's finding out the minimum value from this array. It indexes 7 row, sec uh, 7th row and 2nd column. So that's the max and mil minimum so value and its position in the array. Minimum value is position in the array. Okay, and now if I go back to the switch diagram, I mean block diagram here, max and minimum, it takes only array as input. It gives you the max value, its indexes, uh, minimum value here, and its indexes. Okay. Okay. So now uh, last one, array. Here, let's say I have given um, I have this array of uh, seven element, and uh, I want to create a array, a reshape array. So what it does is like um, it ar uh, rearrange this element in a format that you desire here. Okay, so let's say I want to give two row and uh, four column. So now I have two rows, and each element is assigned to this um, output array. If um, the size of output array is, is bigger than the input array, it will fill up with the default value. So now, I let's say I want to create uh, four rows and two columns. So in that case, I say, okay, four rows and two columns here. Okay, so now it is rearranging the output array. Okay, so if we go back to the block diagram here, uh, let's go in the reshape array. It's taking as an array as input dimension row dimension of the column and then it create uh, the two dimension array as output okay so if we go back here now let's say uh, i want to create four rows by four column it fill up with the first seven element and then remaining one it fill up with the default zero okay so hopefully you like this video uh, if you like it subscribe to my channel uh, and thanks for watching okay bye